You want to know why this muscle and which muscle often causes knee pain. I already have him in my hand, so to speak. Look, Renee, now the leg is bent, stretch it. The stretching is done here by this large muscle. Quadriceps is the word many have probably already heard. Three of these parts remain on the thigh, and one even goes over the hip. So he even lifts the leg a little higher. And why does it often cause problems? Because we mostly use it when the knee is almost extended, when running, when walking. And that's exactly when it's the shortest. And that's why, if you don't compensate for it, he has less and less desire to give in, and that's why he then causes pain. And now there is an exercise. If you should only do one exercise against it, then you have to do this one. I will explain it to you. Do the exercise right away. Lie down on the floor like Rene. And now you do the following. You stay lying exactly as you are and try to pull your heel as close to your buttocks as possible. That is typical. So most of them come up to this angle, maybe a little further. And now, what is it about? Now it's about wanting to stretch what is too short in the extended knee and reach back once and try to get to it. That is exactly the problem that most people have. They can't reach it. But there is a trick. Watch out. Bend your hip a little, lift your hip a little, and then you realize suddenly it continues. And now grab your foot. Now you have good access. And grab him best here. And when you have grabbed him, then you turn back to the front, Rene. Turn back to the front. And now it is important that the bar stays down. I will explain to you why. Because the three parts that I showed earlier at Rene, which end at the thigh, are already being stretched. But the fourth one, which goes over the hip, is only stretched when the hip is extended. And that's why it's so important that it really lies on. What does Hüfte gestreckt mean? What does that mean? That means the groin is located on. Bent hip would mean your groin has a distance to the ground. Hip extended means your groin is lying on. And so you stay as well. And now you continue moving towards the buttocks. It doesn't go any further, Roland. Yes, but go now as far as possible in stretching. Where does it hurt now? In front of the thigh? Yes, but full. Exactly. And you do it exactly the same way, so that it pulls in the front thigh exactly the same way, that you can still bear it well. And then you increase slowly, but it still has to be straight and tolerable. It is not stress, it is not overuse, it does not hurt. It hurts a little and that you feel comfortable. Always remember, these exercises, that is an active vacation and one feels comfortable. One does something, or the woman does something, okay? Also, always tighten further. I have to take care of the hip. That is crucial, I believe, right? Exactly. Because you can also try it at home. As soon as you lift your hip a little, it suddenly feels better. And that's why always keep the hip down. Please write a comment and let us know if you understand how these processes work so that I can learn how to explain it best. How long does the exercise last, Roland? Always two to two and a half minutes. We have now about one, one and a half we have left. And now we're going to do a little booster again. Okay. Now try to straighten your leg, but hold it with your hand. And now you notice everything down here is tightening. This is a built-in strength training so that the muscle remembers even better that it should be longer, that it should be more flexible, so that the knee pain disappears. And still lying with the hip on the ground. Exactly. But don't say hip, say groin. Groin. Yes. Then you can steer more precisely again. So, and now again you try to stretch, you try to stretch, but you resist. This is strength training, right? Without movement, strength training without movement. Now it's loose again. And you pull a little closer. Now I'm getting a little more, I think. That is the purpose of tensing, right? And now finally let go, but try to keep your foot there. Try to stay. Pull the foot in and press down on the groin. Foot forward, pull the groin down, press. And again and again. And slowly go out again, slowly go out again. And if you like it and enjoyed the exercise, then give yourself a thumbs up and like it so that others can see and notice, oh, this could be interesting. If you would like to do other knee exercises, you can click on them here. And now we're going to do the exact same exercise again, but slightly differently. Be curious. And indeed, we take a loop. Renee, please sit down. Be so kind.
because now you have to step into the larger end of the loop with your right foot. And then you twist once. You can also use a belt, by the way, if you don't have the loop yet. And now you grip like this with your thumb so that you practically have this position. Turn onto your stomach over the left side. And always remember, very easy. What you have to do first, again like before, you have to lower your groin. Always target the groin, not the hip. Because the hip spine protrudes further forward than the groin. And it may well be that the hip spur is already on the ground, but the groin is still in the air. And that means your leg is slightly bent and not properly extended. So, and now you slowly go down to the floor with your hand, and with that you pull the foot. You can also stretch the foot nicely, it doesn't need to be flexed. And now you can wonderfully grip with your fingers and pull yourself further and further forward. And get a little closer to your body so that you pull yourself to the side. And now you can adjust the train in exactly the same way so that you are wonderfully stretched. This is much more relaxed than first bending the hip, struggling to grab the foot, not being able to reach it properly. You are simply better at practice. Roland, what exactly do I stretch now? You stretch practically the entire muscle here, the entire four-headed thigh muscle, that's what it's called, in all four parts. But good that you ask, because one of these parts, that is a muscle of this entire muscle, is particularly involved in knee pain, according to our experience. And now we address it even more specifically. And we do it as follows. Rene, let go. Have you already had enough stretching? And now let's add the knee brace. And why are we doing this? Because lift your knee up, we will now place it underneath so that your thigh is slightly, so that your knee is elevated. But here the contact must still remain. And you grab the loop again, yes? Is this now one more level up? What can be done now? Feel it, feel it, good question. Feel inside and be close to your body again, exactly. And what do you notice now? Yes, well, I would say that is more like before. This is more stretching, and that is precisely because of this one component, because it is now even more stretched. And as a result, the exercise becomes significantly more efficient than if the knee is not elevated, right? And you would work in the same way again, keeping the hip down, and you keep going further forward into the stretch, tensing a little against it, the sequence would be the same. And now, once again, a brief note on our own behalf. This knee brace and the loop are aids that I have developed so that you can practice better, practice more efficiently, with less time, and make it simply easier. And under this video, you will find both. You can click on it, and there you will get the information. And now it continues. Please make sure to always do the exercises for two to two and a half minutes, no matter how you do them, and at the intensity that you can still tolerate well. Rene, do you want to know anything else about this exercise? Yes, you mentioned four muscles that we target, but one in particular. What is the difference? Why only steer one? Why not all four at once? That is what I explained earlier. You must know the large thigh muscle has four parts. Three of them end here at the thigh itself. So when you bend your leg, pull your heel towards your buttocks, regardless of your hip position, they will be stretched. But the one, the fourth, runs over the hip. And that's why we have now also built in this reinforcement, raise the knee, because it is not only our experience that it has something to do with knee pain, but also with hip pain and even back pain. So you notice how diverse the body can be disturbed. And that's why we designed the exercise so that a lot is done in a short time. And your suggestion would be now to do this exercise at least once, twice, three times a day? If you haven't done them yet, and if you can't sit comfortably on your heels for two minutes like I am sitting now, then it's high time to bring the muscles back to their normal state, because then they are too short, too tense, the fascia may be tangled. At the latest, do this for a while, once a day, then it's a very short exercise until you can get into the kneeling position well, and then you can see if you want to develop it further, or if you want to leave it as it is for now. Last question. Am I finished with my exercise? Yes, you were long enough yesterday. Go out again. If you want to do more exercises, a knee routine, please click there. 
there you can subscribe. If you haven't done it yet, please do it urgently so that you don't miss anything and activate the bell so that you are notified. And otherwise, knee pain is so common and this one exercise can help so much. Please share this video with all people, especially those who are getting older, who have more and more toothaches, and then we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.